Uh, my name is Jonathan, and I'm doing this vlog because I am really concerned about the salvation of televangelists and senior pastors of large churches. I'm really concerned about your salvation, whether, whether you're saved or not, um, because of your huge amount of wealth. You're just so wealthy. So I want to encourage all televangelists and all senior pastors of large churches to please sell all your possessions and get rid of all your money, get rid of all your wealth, and give all your money to the poor. I'm not even talking about even half of your possessions, not even like 75%, like all of it. Not even just only 90%. 100%, please, all televangelists, all senior pastors, large churches, get rid of all your wealth Give it all to the poor, because you guys are way too rich. And I want to read to you guys, senior pastors, all pastors really, and televangelists, you know who you guys are, um, the words of Jesus. What Jesus Christ, the founder of Christianity, has to say about this. This is in the Gospel of Matthew. Now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he, Jesus Christ, said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which is cool because Jesus say Jesus said, in order to enter into life, he did not Jesus did not say, um, say this in his prayer. Jesus did not say, Ask me into your heart, um, or anything like that. Jesus said, Keep the commandments. This is Jesus Christ. Um, he said to him, um, which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these things I have kept from my youth, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. But when the young man heard, heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. He was very rich, in other words, a very rich man. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Surely I say to you, that it is hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with, well, with God all things are possible. So you senior pastors of large churches and televangelists, I know that with all the royalties from your books, you make lots of money, and you convince, money, you convince people to give you lots of money. I know you, have, you guys have lots of money, and you're just filthy rich. Okay. So Jesus, this is Jesus talking to you guys, Jesus wants you to, Give rid of all your money, get rid of all your wealth, and give to the poor. Um, and it's funny because, well, I guess in another gospel Jesus said, after the young man said, well, I have followed all of these commandments, Jesus loved him. Um, then Jesus said, in order to be perfect, get rid of your wealth. But like this rich man, um, Jesus said to this rich man, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. And the young man said, well, I have kept these ever since I was a little boy, basically. But a lot of you senior pastors, a lot of you televangelists, you have not even kept the commandments. I mean, it says, you shall not murder. And a lot of you senior pastors are just really nationalistic and patriotic. And um, you support the wars, the U.S. wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. So you are, you, you, you are murdering, basically, because a lot of you guys are patriotic and nationalistic. And it says you shall not commit adultery. And a lot of you senior pastors and televangelists are committing a lot of adultery. And um, there's a lot of bad stuff, um, sexual immor immorality, that I don't want to get into. Because there may be kids watching. Um, and uh, it also says you shall not steal. And a lot, and you shall not steal. And a lot of you senior pastors and televangelists embezzle a lot of money. And basically you're stealing from God because you're rich. So this, the simple fact that you're wealthy means you're stealing from God. No matter who you are, anyway. Because God wants you to get rid of all your wealth. And that's... This is for your salvation, senior pastors. I want you guys to be saved. I do not want you guys, televangelists and senior pastors, I don't want you to go to hell, okay? 
because Jesus wants you to get rid of all your wealth. Um, like me, maybe you're pointing the finger at me, but like, I've done my part because I choose to be poor, I choose to live in poverty, um, I give away a lot of my money because I, and I'm serious, honest about this, I seriously do not like money. Um, I do not like having money. I don't, um, I don't get any, um, <laughs> I don't get any, uh, happiness from having a lot of money. I get, a, I get happiness from loving people and, um, just being around people and just, <laughs> just feeding other people the Holy Spirit. That's what makes me happy. Not money. I do not, I honestly do not like money. So, don't point the finger at me. And Jesus said to uh, give to the poor. So, all your money to the poor. So, who is the poor? Senior pastor and televangelist. I would say that a good, the best indicator of who the poor are, are, the, are blacks in the inner city. So, please give, get rid of all your money and give to African Americans who are living, living in the inner city. And I know you're going to jump in, you're going to quickly say, well, they're already in welfare, they do not deserve my money, they do not deserve my wealth. See that you're a racist. And I just pulled that out of you <laughs> just now because I knew you were thinking that. Um, but actually, they don't receive very much welfare at all, African Americans in the inner city. And they're, that's a um, very stereotypical racist comment, view in your head to say, well, they're just so dependent on welfare, they don't deserve my money. And they, they, I'm going to create dependence on African Americans, so I give my money to them. Well, that's not true. I've been in the inner city. I've lived in South Side Chicago for two weeks, and they are very, very poor. And yes, they do need your money. They do need your wealth. Um, and if you're a senior pastor, if you're a pastor at any church, and a televangelist, and you're saying, "Well, I used to be poor, and I know what poverty is because when I started my ministry, I was very poor." Um, no, no, nobody is tithing, and I finally got, God blessed me to get more wealth. I understand that the majority of Christian Americans are not giving their tithes, they're not giving money to God. The majority of Christian Americans are very selfish. So I understand what you're saying on that part. Okay. So yes, all Christian Americans need to get rid of all their wealth and give to the poor. Yes. But you, senior pastor and televangelist, you are supposed to be poor. Okay? You're not supposed to be wealthy. So, like, you're supposed to be a model for us Christians. You are supposed to model living in poverty for us. You are supposed to model um, giving all your money to the poor, giving all your money, um, getting rid of all your wealth and giving to the poor. So you are supposed to model that for us. And basically, you're not... Listen to Jesus. You're not going to go to heaven. You're not going to heaven. You're not going to enter the kingdom of God if you continue to... Uh, get more money, and um, if you do not get rid of your wealth, according to Jesus, now this is not according to Jonathan, it's according to me, according to Jesus Christ, if you do not get rid of all your wealth, all your money, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So, um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much. I do love you.